Hello, and welcome to the How to Do Stuff in the Wilderness podcast, which is actually no longer a podcast. It is now a video series that we're putting together right now, right right here. I'm out in the wilderness right now uh, with two great people who have been on the show before. You, I'm sure uh, you recognize their voices, if not their faces because we haven't actually been in a filmed setting like this before. So this is really exciting for us. We have a lot of stuff to cover today. Uh, I'd just like to introduce uh, the guys that are here with me. We have my co-host, Calvin. Yes, hello everyone. Uh, For those of you keen viewers who have seen our uh, social media, you will have recognized my face. But for those people who are just listening to the audio version, uh, you will also recognize my voice. So yeah. And then we also have uh, the recurring guest, Clyde, who is back again here. Hi, everyone. It's it's real exciting to have you all out here and be able to jump to this new media platform. It's big things. I thought that we had already (laughs) peaked with big changes for the podcast, but here we are. Yeah, uh, it's really exciting to be out here. And and Clyde, thank you for having us out here. Uh, It's, you know, pretty exciting, really. Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to, to be out here for this long and, and keep doing these things for this long, but what it, what is that? Plane, maybe? All right, well, I don't know. you just, you just kind of hear noises all the time out here. That, that's you what nature what is, are. you know, it's just noises. Yeah. Well, you know, Clyde, you're, you're kind of a nature regular and, and you've lived out here for a long time. Uh, and we're we're actually staying with Clyde right now. We've spent the weekend with him in his trailer, which is just kind of located a ways away. And we've been having a really great time. We've been bonding and forgiving some of the faults that have occurred throughout this first season. But this is, you know, a growing process. And we are here apologizing to each other and making amends and moving forward with the series. This is a really exciting new leap for us here. So I guess unless anyone else has anything to say, we can just get right into it. The topic for today is a topic which I have always hold, held close to my heart. It is how to actually survive in the wilderness, which encompasses pretty much everything that we've talked about so far. This is going to be a huge episode, and we're going to be able to demonstrate a lot more with the new format. And we just have a lot of exciting stuff planned, right? Yes. yes yeah, we and we've been, we've been working really hard over this weekend, just participating in all sorts of, you know, activities and, and wilderness things. And it's, you know, it's great to be out here. Uh, I will say I'm, I'm getting a little tired of it, you know, not having hot water and and plumbing is not my favorite thing and uh, I also have not been able to check on my Cardano investments which is uh, really tough because I don't know where that money is at right now and you know I don't want to keep losing the the money that uh, I have left after what I already lost because that would be an even bigger loss for me Uh, but you know, we're here, we're going to do this, and then I'm going to zip right back home and check that immediately, because that is important. But um, yeah, what what are some, you know, key takeaways from this time out here that we have come across, would you say? Um, well, we've been doing a lot of, a lot of things, we've been staying really busy, um, mm-hmm. being out here. Um, I mean, there's lots of stuff to do. Just walk around and look at the sites. Oh, yeah. And even that is really informative. You know, you can look at plants and... and There's lots of trees out here, obviously, for those uh, audio viewers, audio listeners. um, We are in a forest right now. uh, Yeah. Kind of describe the surroundings. But, I mean, when when you were out in the wilderness, I feel like that's kind of implied, especially since we said that Clyde has a trailer out in the woods. Just trying to, you know, bring those uh, audio listeners into this. I know this is more of a um, video-centered episode, but for our Spotify and iTunes listeners um, that don't really get the full yeah. feel, I'm just trying to. Well, kind if of you're not getting the, the full feel, you're missing out. And go check it out on 
uh, wherever, Dan, I don't know where you're putting this video, but uh, check it out there. We will have that link soon. Um, you know, one of the things about being outdoors here is that you really have to be careful. Uh, there's so many factors, like the sun. Uh, I know that we talked about that. I got really bad sunburn. I couldn't sleep on my back for uh, two nights ago. And it's still pretty bad. And I mean, I kind of, you know, I put a bunch of like aloe on it uh, and it still hurts a lot. Uh, so uh, don't, don't lay out in the sun and fall asleep with your shirt off um, well, without sunscreen. Uh, yeah, I've also been having some trouble sleeping. Um, for those of you uh, who don't know, you know, Clyde's trailer has two bedrooms. So uh, Sam uh, kind of insisted on taking the second bedroom. So then kind of put me well, outside I'm not going to sleep tent, in a tent so. when I have my whole back is like peeling off. Well, it wasn't that way to start with, but then it... Regardless, I've been sleeping. Well, on you, kind you volunteered, of a, basically. You know, sure, we had the tent um, here, and and uh, regardless, uh, kind of been sleeping in the riverbeds. There are lots of rocks, and um, been pretty uncomfortable. But we've powered through. Well, you're so. not the only one who's uncomfortable. Let me just tell you that. Well, I mean, even Dan had to do the same thing. He was been staying out here too. Well, Dan volunteered to do this. Dan, you know, I know we said that that uh, we weren't going to be in the studio and we gave you the choice and you came out here with us. Um, and, you know, you haven't been contributing a lot. We've been surviving basically on our own and we've asked you to kind of prepare, you know, instructions for us and, you know, to give us kind of your insight. But uh, you, you really kind of let us down with all that. Um, so, you know, I'm sorry that we brought you along, but... Um, Another thing is that makes it uncomfortable to be out here is all these bugs. And you can even l hear them around, and they're awful. They're terrible. And they're just and swarming exactly. right mm -hmm. now. These little you know, tiny... They keep biting, and it's just... When you're out in the wilderness, you don't want to stay out too long because they'll get you, and they might have West Nile virus or yellow fever or something like that, and uh, it's not something you want to have to deal with. Would have been uh, handy if we had had some, uh, brought a can of DEET out here. Well, that's not natural. That's, no. Well, you, you DEET can't works. Survive. You, can, you can survive, you know, just For those by, of you out there, DEET does work. It's a great product, great chemical. Um, we're not promoting them. We do them. not they're have not, any right now. They're not sponsoring us, so we're not going to say anything. DEET is a chemical. None of the brands have given us any money, so we don't care. I don't care about DEET. I do, it's getting sunny out here, and I'm trying to keep safe, so. It's up, so there we it's are. up, it's fine. All right. It's broken. Well, Back there, but that's fine. Continue. Uh, so, uh, this episode, um, we are going to try uh, to do some of our activities that we've gone through in our segments but haven't had a chance to test out so yeah and there's really nothing like just coming out into the wilderness and practicing absolutely you can listen to podcasts all day but until you get out here and actually participate in it you're not going to know what's going on certainly not um and so we just don't you don't even you're wearing I a need shirt to, you can just hold it I need my hands to gesture. We're in the video format. They want to see the whole gamut of Well, we also have the audio listeners who are kind of our main base. Yeah. Uh, our main fans that have been with us through thick and thin. So. Well, they're in the Stone Ages because we have a lot more things in, in store uh, on our social media and now in the videos. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we've been utilizing so many of these different techniques that we did talk about mm -hmm. uh, during the podcast episodes. Uh, we built fires multiple times. Um, we had to navigate. We had to. We did have to navigate using some uh, traditional techniques, uh, some natural uh, techniques without any compasses or GPS or any of that. Um, 
and the, you know, we went on lots of hikes through these woods out here. Um, so that was really a great time. Um, sometimes, you know, just taking solo hikes as well as really relaxing, um, kind of get away from everybody and kind of get away from society. So that's been awesome as well. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's a little bit overrated, the hiking thing, because trees are trees, you know, there's, you see one, you've seen them all. Um, so it's not that great, but, um, well, I mean, just look around, you got lots of different trees. All trees are unique. So if you have seen one, then you have definitely not seen really any. Uh, and what else so. have we done that we've had to do? We, we tried to look for bears or something that we could use our self-defense techniques against. Unfortunately, those aren't around. Or maybe fortunately, I know that we have, you know, we have Clyde along, who is a great, uh, an avid expert on hunting techniques and oh, yes. defending yourself. Um, so we would have been safe, but we didn't have to use those skills. Stop moving around. I just, this chair is- distracting the video. This chair is too small, but it's fine. It's I'm just- we had. Okay. Yes, we I know, but it's just- I know, small. I know it's been small. I'm just, I try to get comfortable and you've been messing around with this stupid umbrella this whole episode and I can't even try to get, my, my butt is cramping and I need to kind of get to a comfortable position where it won't do that. Well, you can survive either way. We're talking about survival and, um, you know, I don't know if I'd be able to survive without this, but you could just, you could be sitting on a log. I mean, you made the decision to uh, get that chair. Uh, well, I did not, maybe but... Maybe if you hadn't been fired from Home Depot, they would have been interested in giving us money for this. I, I thought we weren't going to bring stuff up like that, Sam. I'm I've been on the, I've been hunting for a new job, um, have some leads, and I'm just going to leave it at that, trying to get away from all of that, so. Weeks, and there's no sign of any jobs on the horizon. There, <sighs> but we're out. I would like to get, kind of, move on from that, and get back to what we were out here to do. Exactly, we're in the wilderness, whatever's going on, back home for you two, and Dan, All right, I then, guess, then say matter. what else we need to talk about, what else are we talking about? Well, let's see. I guess one thing for me, at least, has been um, surviving the wilderness with other people. I feel like we've kind of talked a lot in the podcast about surviving as one person, but surviving with multiple people is an interesting experience for sure. I typically only get the rare passerby coming through that uh, I get to survive with and stays in the trailer, but actually having people with for an extended time is... Do you have other people coming to stay in your trailer? I mean, the occasional person's also surviving in the wilderness. If they happen upon my trailer, they need a place to stay because sometimes they've been out here for weeks and weeks and they need just anything rather than... All right, well, it's not necessary. We haven't covered that in any of our episodes. No, but that's why uh, I thought Interpersonal I communication is not one of the subjects that we're covering. Here. But it's, like, connecting everything. No, you're wrong. Thing. And I'm right. Uh, we need to just stick to what we were going to talk about, which is things that we have already talked about and how we've been implementing them. Uh, right. We haven't had to build a shelter so much because we have the trailer. Well, some of us have, but it's you been... had a tent. You know, it's not that hard to just set up a tent. Well, wherever you're setting. it's a little bit more difficult, more involved than, you know, just sleeping in a nice twin bed, so... Anyway... Uh, those are, you know, about the only things that we've been able to do. Uh, you know, the, it's pretty busy uh, to be out here, really. You know, you have to take care of the basic daily things, you know, that you don't even think about when you're in civilization. But you still have to wake up and brush your teeth and eat breakfast. Uh, but it's even takes longer to do that because you have to build a fire and all that, um, which Speaking of building fires, uh, we were going to demonstrate kind of some of the situations that we have run into as we've been surviving out here, you know. Um, and one of those is building a fire. Um, I guess, do we have anything, any other subjects? It was just building the fire and then... Um, we've already eaten, so we can't really do food. Um, no, no shelter. We uh, tried to swim, but been a little bit of a dry year yeah um there's a ravine that runs through here but uh it's really 
with nothing coming through it. Mostly just a kind of a valley, uh, a, a ravine without a river, kind of like if the Grand Canyon did not have any water running through it. All right, uh, and we haven't had games and games, recreation. Yeah. We have we have not. Uh, no. It's been full time surviving. Yeah. What the? I'm sure it was just like a. It's not a bear. I know that. It's. All right. Well, this is an unsafe environment. It, it's nature. All right. We it's... just need to finish this up and and Local. get out because yeah. I, I, we, we've gone over. I need to, to want to talk get about. home. We just move to building the fire, I suppose. Yeah. So uh, because there is, um, we're kind of in a drought here. Uh, at the moment, so we aren't actually going to, or maybe we will. I mean, we've cl we can't, cleared off. Can't I talk to the whatever the the park people and they they won't let us burn. Okay, so we cannot start the fire legally um, because there is a no burn rule, and only you can prevent uh, um, wildfires wild fires. and forest fires. Yeah, Smokey the Bandit, it's Smokey the Bear, um, follow what he says, he knows what he's doing. So let's, uh, so instead we're just going to show you kind of how to build a fire, um, and... With wood, we already gathered the wood here, yep. um, and so... So Dan is going to gotta, kind of adjust the camera there to yeah. point more down here, uh, and then we will... Dan, you're Dan. moving that thing all over. For our audio listeners, uh, that it's not a no problem, experience. so... Video. That's the thing. Well, that's not going to be an issue for our audio listeners on Spotify that's and um, no, no one iTunes. About so, Spotify. No one is even listening to it. Anymore. So, anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and start trying to set this up a little bit. We don't... Um, okay. Why don't you just... To the side. Yeah. Sure I'm taking it. care of it, all right? Sure we'll use it it's, later, so there's no... There's not even... It's not even sunny. It's... Sh we're in... Th there's no... All right. I will get burned and probably die of exposure. But we have the wood here, and let's build... Start building the fire. Let's get to it. And, uh, yes. Right. So we... These are just... These are just... Uh, These are just sticks that we've logs and, and things that we found around the area, um, and we're just going to be kind of putting them together and arranging them in a like a fire format, kind of as you as you would. Um, so you just kind of you know stack them, uh, and eventually when you get enough, they'll be enough to kind of sustain a fire for a while. There are a couple of different uh, styles that you can go with, you know, the log cabin, the teepee, all of this stuff, but. What I've found works really well is if you just kind of make a, um, kind of make a tower, um, and, all right. We don't have, generally you want kind of the three sizes of, uh, sticks or lumber. If, if you're going that route, go to, you know, Lowe's or Menards or something like that. that. Home Depot. Get, don't have go to lumber, Home Depot. If it doesn't but, fall on you. Um, anyway, uh, so you would kind of want three sizes. We only really have the uh, medium and small stuff at the moment, because uh, that's all that was really... It's just dirt everywhere. Um, that's all that was really Damn, out in these forests. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Um, it would be nice... Um, yeah. Cedar webs and stuff. So... Um, Say, Clyde, uh, do you have any um, larger wood that we could use for a campfire? Um, I mean, I probably do back the trailer. It's a little bit away, but I can certainly go uh, get it if you think we, we need it. Just get it. We. This looks terrible. I mean, you said it. I didn't. I'll be back. What is that? Um, I'm not sure, but uh, did you? You already said about the visitors and well, yeah. What I don't know what that's all about. I guess I, I mean, I didn't realize. I thought he just lived out here alone. And it's kind of weird that you know he has an extra bedroom in there. Um, I don't know why. He's just been acting weird all all weekend. And he yeah. wasn't contributing at all to what we were doing here. Right. Um. 
I noticed when I was, uh, you know, sleeping outside in the tent, um, he at like, I couldn't sleep obviously because of the river rocks and things, but the, I heard him come out and, uh, kind of like a shoveling sound of moving dirt a couple nights back. That's weird. He seems, he seems off and I mean like I, so I was washing my clothes down in the little creek, you know, nearby and, Mm -hmm. um, because they were just gross. Uh, And I, I took a pile of clothes and he had a pile of clothes lying out. Um, and there was like a pair of jeans that were like too small for him. Like he, he would not be wearing them. He doesn't even wear jeans. Um, but anyway, they were there and they were, there was like blood, like kind of all over the back of them. And it was, I don't know. I I just left them there, but it was, it was weird. I, and I, you know, I don't know. I didn't see any wood by his trailer, so I don't know what he's getting back there exactly. Right. Um, But I don't know. And you know, he, he served us those eggs and that, that bacon, but it didn't look like bacon and it did not taste like bacon. Definitely at all. did not taste like it did bacon. Did not taste like bacon. And, you know, I was I was brushing my teeth the other day mm-hmm. and uh I you know, I was just kind of looking around and uh because I didn't forgot my toothpaste, which is a whole different story. Uh but I was like looking through his drawers and there was a whole drawer. And there were like these, it was like driver's licenses and IDs of people that I don't know who they are. I mean, I don't know Randy Smith. Like, and where did these people go? And I think it's strange that he's always coming to these episodes and talking about these weapons and things that are illegal, apparently. Yeah. Guys, I noticed that as well. He had the, uh, that locked compartment in the trailer when we were... All right. Well, I don't know. I just this... don't feel safe anymore. Yeah. And... I don't know, Dan. I think we need to pack up. It's you know, don't 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 worry, don't about, don't worry the about the camera. All right, we have a lot more important things going on right now. Okay. Um, I saw this morning, Clyde. He had like a a gun polishing kit out on his table and I didn't say anything at the moment but there is something very wrong going on here and you were the one who brought him on here you were the one who who just brought him onto the show and you let him keep coming back and I don't know you didn't you didn't look into his background you didn't do any sort of like background check or anything and 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 it's just weird and and I feel very unsafe um but you made this bed and now you have to lie in it. Uh, all this, you know, the equipment that you have back there, uh, it, we have to save it because there's nothing left in the budget, all right? So you're going to have to stay here and pick up. If he comes back, you're going to have to explain to him what exactly is going on, okay, and why we left. And you better have a good story prepared because we are out of here. That's it. That's that's uh, that's it. Um, and so to all the... Uh, to all the viewers out there, uh, we're going to be uh, taking a break. Um, this is the end of the first season. Uh, we'll see you back next time, hopefully. Yes, and uh, thanks for 